welcome to In The Studio. My name is Daisy Lee and I'll be your host for this episode. We'll be talking about skating around Davis and we have two local legends with us, Francis A. Vaughn McGee and Ed Harney. Uh, Francis is an outdoor skate park instructor and anti-click scene writer and Ed is a figure skating coach and national figure championship director. So let's get started. What types of skating do you do? Um, me? Oh. Uh, I skate in any skating that I can do. Anywhere that I can skate, anywhere that I can get away with it is where I try to skate. Uh, I definitely go to skate parks. I skate around town, um, dance in the streets, Cesar Chavez Park, like anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll catch you around Sacramento. Yeah, you've probably <laughs> seen me skating around like just mm -hmm. about everywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Ed? Uh, mine's more uh, on the inside the rink uh, competitive type uh, scenarios uh, where I do figure skating and I actually still also uh, play roller hockey um, in uh, Woodland uh, where we have a, a league. We also play there as well. But uh, my main thing is, is uh, figure skating where I coach. I compete a little bit on the side every now and then just because I still have that bug. and. Um, you know, so it's more of that, uh, mm -hmm. takes up a lot of my time with uh, figure skating, obviously, because I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And when did you start skating? What age? Um, oh my gosh. Well, I mean, I started skating for the first time in, when I was really little at King Skate, way out on Franklin Boulevard in um, Elk Grove, and I was terrible at it. And I, like, I would fall all the time, it was awful, but I kept going. I don't know why, you know, pizza maybe, soda <laughs> was probably like a added perk, you know, but mm -hmm. I, I was terrible at it and then I didn't skate for a really long time until I was probably about 22 years old and that's when I started skating again out in Hawaii. I played for a roller derby um, team out there called um, Hawaii Pacific Roller Derby and I played there for two years and then I transferred over to Oakland and started skating there uh, for the Bay Area Derby Girls. And I skated there for until about 2012? No, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> I started skating with them in 2012. I skated with them for, I think, maybe like, uh, maybe four years, maybe five years. I don't know. Oh, wow. that's, a, that's a significant amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. It was a while. <laughs> How did you get your start? Um, I, mom and dad met in a the rink. They were competitive skaters. I was literally skating in the womb. So I've literally <laughs> skated my whole life. Um, yeah. Right was, on out with those Right wheels. out with skates on. <laughs> uh, I started com really competing when I was five. Um, I actually was a speed skater back then. And mm -hmm. uh, obviously done pretty much all the gambit, speed and figure and hockey and, and all of that. Um, literally my whole life. Uh huh. Um, yeah. And so right now, do you have a focus on a type of skating that you do? Mine is obviously still the figure, but I still have my one night of hockey. I still uh -huh. like to have that, but uh, I'm very involved with the figure skating as a coach and mm -hmm. as you mentioned, a director where I'm actually doing a lot of the contests as an official now. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't skate as much because I'm more on the uh, stage with the Blue Blazer. Um, <laughs> one of those guys um, where I, I spend a lot of time uh, volunteering. Uh, I'm on a lot of committees and I mm -hmm. do a lot of that kind of stuff for figure skating. And do you have any current inspirations or did you have any childhood inspirations that kind of led you to like keep skating today? Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw something out at you. Yeah. Let me know if you remember this. What's that movie called, that roller skating movie that he was in? It was really, it wasn't the worst roller skating movie ever, but it was it was up there. It was like Roller Town USA. Roller Town, yeah, that was one, yeah, back in the disco days. <laughs> Exactly. There was a couple. Roller Boogie, Roller Town. Yeah, yeah, there was. Oh, man. Well, he does like a, like this whole scene where he's dancing around this like super extravagant roller, roller rink that I don't think actually exists. But, or maybe it did. Who knows? I don't know. But he's wearing like all leather with like a leather vest and he's mm -hmm. just a real cool guy and he's like whipping his belt around and stuff. And uh -huh. um, it kind of reminds me of the choreography from Dirty Dancing a little bit. Right. Yeah, but it was before <coughs> Dirty Dancing. Anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. Patrick Swayze is kind of amazing, and uh -huh. that was a magical moment. 
That was a um, big inspiration, huh? Well, not the biggest inspiration, just like an inspiration, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's the leather. But um, estrogen. Estrogen as well. Is a yeah. huge, yeah. Somebody who, if you don't know who she is, look her up. Mm -hmm. She's online and she does amazing stuff on her roller skates, just these feats of strength and these acrobatic moves. Uh, this skater named Kid Ace, she's amazing. She just did this really sick backflip in, in a bowl recently that just blew my mind and it was incredibly graceful. Uh -huh. She has like this dance background that sh she's applying to her skating that looks really beautiful but um, mm -hmm. aggressive at the same time. So I've got heroes, but I wouldn't say that they're necessarily like people that I've grown up watching. It's just I collect heroes as I go. Right. And speaking of which, we're going to show a clip of some of the skating that happens at the skate park. Woo! Yeah, so I'll some <laughs> tricks so you can narrate what's going on. Oh, this on. is Shasta Park, and we're with the Chicks and Bulls crew here in Sacramento just playing around and practicing some stalls, handstands. Um, I, they're going by so fast I can't call them all out. But just practicing with a group of women, the whole point of Chicks and Bulls is about getting females into the, the parks, mm -hmm. getting them into meeting other women who are interested in a similar thing, interested mm -hmm. in learning about their body and how to move in a space that um, has a lot of variables and playing tricks on them, like learning how to find your balance between your trucks on the coping, mm -hmm. how to slide, how to, how to come back into the bowl, how to push yourself and maximize you know, what it is that you can do out there. And, yeah, and absolutely. It's, it's been a really positive impact for me I know that getting out and skating, no matter what form, helps me feel centered, grounded, helps me feel more connected to my community, not just the skate community, mm -hmm. but the world. Yeah. I feel like I can take a lot more on. Mm -hmm. It feels like you have a little super power in your back pocket, and, and then you get to share it with people. Yeah. So I love and it. And Ed also has some really wonderful photos to share of his <laughs> history of skating so we have um <clears throat> actually that's my uh, daughter it's uh, like, like i said family affair i grew up with my mom and dad my kids also skated mm -hmm. uh obviously 1997 that was uh, a long time ago uh, but uh, she actually was skating up to this a couple years ago now she's taking the coach's reins and and carrying on the tradition uh, as I said, as a director, I'm actually also, as the director, get to MC most of the, uh, <laughs> I'm on the microphone announcing the names, doing a lot of stuff. Somebody happened to get a shot of me with my blue blazer, and uh, <laughs> I was talking, and obviously being a little am animated uh, mm -hmm. with that particular shot. Um, but there's always people in the audience shouting down at you, and I'm always trying to look up and be as friendly as possible. <laughs> uh, and actually, there's my skating. Like I said, I do dabble with that every now and then. That was actually last year in April up Looks in like Washington. Looks like a dance routine. No uh, yeah, that's, uh, I'm actually probably doing a uh, foxtrot right about there, because I oh. do kind of the ballroom dancing tempos, foxtrots, tangos, waltzes Whoa. on skates. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what that is. So that's my, my side job is a little competition uh -huh. on the side. That's awesome. Yeah, Tango fun. on yeah. roller skates? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you do it with a partner? Um, I have had a uh, couple partners over the years. Uh, not right now because that's a lot of time commitment, which mm -hmm. I don't have because yeah. of the official uh, side. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, skating with a partner is always cool. a lot more fun. Yeah, and um, as you mentioned, there's Chicks and Bulls chapters around the world. All over the world. And as someone in Davis, I am hoping to get that movement and momentum going um, here. It's a college town, and that woodland rink that you mentioned, yep. I believe that used to be in Davis, and it got it shut down, right? right? Right down the street yeah. down here, yes. We used to play right there. And so, obviously, um, the 90s with rollerblading, that kind of made roller skating <laughs> go away. And I'm wondering, um, how would you suggest, like, how do you bring people or tell people, like, how do you share the sport of skating to people who might not be comfortable on wheels and have never done this before. Right. Like, I didn't really start skating until I was 24. Right. For me, I mean, it might probably be a little bit different than yours. I can use 
the 70s, 80s, and 90s, uh, you know, mom and dad skated, hey, get your kids back in. Remember, you used to skate when you were in high school and come back, because it was so popular back then. So that's kind of my thing, is like, hey, come on back in and make it a family night, you know, kind of, a lot of the rinks have those kind of evenings and stuff is make it a whole family thing, and that kind of gets maybe the bug into them, and maybe they, mm -hmm. you know, maybe want to go into competition or do that kind of thing. I feel like that's really helpful for getting kids back into it, because you're bringing your parents in, the kids are coming in, and then there's classes and all kinds of stuff that you can get involved in mm -hmm. at the rink. I know for adults, like once you kind of get into like the college scene and things after that, and you don't have kids, like getting those people into skating mm -hmm. is like a different, at like a I don't even know how to describe it, but it's like mm -hmm. a different thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you got to take a different path with it. And there's lots of fun stuff out there. There's camps that you can go to, and you don't have to be an expert at it. You mm -hmm. can just show up to these camps. Like, uh, we've got a camp coming up next month that's going to be really magical, super fun, over 100 classes at Woodward West, which is a killer location to explore and adventure as a skater and um, and there's a hundred classes that you can take and just mm -hmm. learn all the aspects of it it'll be it's rad yeah awesome. and um, what do you say that they're like skating is pretty much an ageless and timeless sport mm -hmm. I see people of all ages from like barely two three to like 60s, 70s at the skate rink, right? There's mm -hmm. even, yeah. Absolutely. Our national mm -hmm. championships, we have kids from five. We have at least a couple that are at like 85. Yeah. One wow. of our biggest events at nationals is the adult divisions, uh, the 65 and over. It's yeah. a huge event. So, yeah, it is ageless mm -hmm. and they, they love it. You just see the big smiles as they go around skating. Yeah, I definitely would like to encourage people around Davis. Um, to, to hopefully see me skate on the street. Mm -hmm. Like I recently just saw a rollerblader around town, so I'm like, okay, I need to track There's that one. person There's down. There's one. I chase them. I'll go, mm -hmm. hey, hey, roller skate, <laughs> or whatever they got on their feet, and yeah. I'll like chase them mm -hmm. down. Be like, where'd you get your skates? How long have you been skating? Yeah. Like get get in there. Just mm -hmm. hi, who are you? I see you've got skates. I mm -hmm. roll too. What's up? Yeah. Where are you? Like, do you want to go trail ride? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Yes. I don't know. I'm very out mm -hmm. there, though. Uh huh. No, I've noticed um, both <laughs> at skate parks and at the skating rink, Foothill Skate Inn, that everyone's been really supportive and very encouraging of you to go at your own pace, but still try and learn and mm -hmm. pick up new tricks. And I think um, a college campus would be the great platform for mm -hmm. it here in Davis. Absolutely. So um, as we wrap up, I'd like to go over the few websites and resources that we have that we can share. So um, for indoor skating, we have USA Roller Sports and Foothill Skate Inn where you can see Ed teaching everyone <laughs> proper techniques and how to safely skate. And we also have the Chicks and Bulls where there is a um, Sacramento chapter, but not a Davis one yet. Yeah. And Anti-Click Scene. Yeah, Anti-Click Scene, check it out. We've got our newest scene out right now featuring skaters from around the world, including a, um, legend from the Southern California scene, Duke Rennie. He's been skating since the 70s and competing, and he's been around and seen it all, and he is still shredding it in the parks. It's amazing to watch. Like, awesome. roller skating keeps you young, man. Yeah, it really does. Absolutely. It keeps you young, keeps you happy, keeps you sane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you both so much for being here. This has been a blast. Thank you. You were watching in the studio and thank you so much for joining us here at Davis Media Access.